I would like to talk about photonic uh, quickly, but before we go there, I also want to quickly talk about, uh, there are also a lot of workloads, could be Uber, ride share, you know, food delivery, which also help in real time. They actually need to know where you are. They need to track the you know, drivers. And uh, how has the real time data or streaming data has also changed uh, the dynamics a bit more? And then how is macro meta kind of helping with these kind of workloads as well? You're absolutely right. So there are two types of really, there are two broad classes of applications you want to think about. Then we call them request response applications, right? Which is your typical standard client server type of an interaction where you open a browser, you make a request and the server responds. So that's one class. And the other class is, as you point out, Swapnil, uh, real-time applications where you need a continuous stream of data that are coming in. The challenge with uh, apps of the latter category where you have continuous streams of data coming in is that it's a scale problem. You know, if you take a ride share company or a delivery or a food delivery company as an example, they may have tens of thousands of you know, uh, riders or drivers on the road at any given point in time, all emitting fairly import, you know, significant amounts of data. So our platform essentially localizes all that processing. Today, you have to bring all of that into the cloud. You have to store it somewhere. You have to process it somewhere and then do something with it. It all adds a lot of complexity, cost, and latency when you do it that way. Instead, if you use an edge delivery network like ours, you can do all of that processing locally. So as an example, you know, a ride share company would not need to send all its data into a centralized cloud location. In the cities that they're operating in, we have POPs with our partner Akamai, for example. We have regional data centers with Akamai. All of that processing can be done locally, and you can offload all of that from the cloud, reducing your cost, but most importantly, being able to handle 100 times more data at a fraction of the time that it would take you to try and process that in the cloud. So latency is one of the biggest uh, advantages and you know, in, in region local processing is the other big uh, advantage that our edge delivery network Photonic gives for these types of use cases. If I can give you one example, uh, you know, if you take sports for uh, as, an, as one of the things, live sports, uh, it's one of the biggest markets for the internet. Everybody goes on the internet to check scores or to watch games, et cetera. Being able to deliver high quality real time data from the games to the fans who are watching it is extremely important because fans are now multi screen. They're going to be watching a game on a big TV. They're also going to have their iPads and phones open and they're consuming all of this content and it all needs to be synchronized with low latency. The minute there's any lag or jitter, there's a difference between what you're seeing on your TV versus what you're seeing on your phone, the experience degrades. And so all of this is sort of driving the next generation of applications to combine, you know, traditional web delivery techniques with more real-time techniques like this. And AI plays a very important role in all of this as we go forward, because AI really acts as the layer that understands how to bring different types of data experiences together and present them in the most consistent and accurate way for, for you know, in this case, uh, fans to be able to consume uh, sports data, for example, and enjoy the events.